These are the memories I hold of these places. It could have been a quiet seaside village or a busy overcrowded goods market. These places have consisted of the good, candy coated memories and also the bitter ranted memories which in this case aren't so bad. Here is Weymouth, the beach which I first remember going to when I was just a small little kid. We would always go on day trips, the parking spaces right at the other end was the starting point of our day, walking to the end and peering over the wall to look at the large landscape of water. The early days I had a large mop of hair which would always blow and cover my face in the cold, sharp sea wind. Now my head has a good streamline mechanism. The boats lightly crashing against the docks and the seagulls squawking in the distance definitely resonated through my childhood and still does to this day. The strong smell of fresh fish and the seaweed that came up from the pile of lobster cages. You could tell how recent the fishing trip was by the strength of the odour. If it was mild, it was fresh, but if it was very strong, chances are I would have been there for quite a while. There's a restaurant which we would always go to at the end of our day. It had a light green colour theme and the interior was very quirky. The choice on the menu for me was always something chicken related, but anyway I'm getting sidetracked. On this water side there is a huge tower which is used as a lift to see the view from really high up, a tourist attraction my dad would never think of going on considering he's scared of heights. This second location is Western Supermare. I spent a lot of time here and there's a lot of different memories. My auntie Sarah has lived here for quite a while and still does. We would go down to visit and spend some time with my nan, other auntie and the rest of the family. The Ferris wheel and other attractions have always been there. Loud music has been playing out of one of the attractions and it kept looping over and over until it got embedded into your mind. The pier we would always go on was lit up and always had a warm presence. Recently I have noticed they are charging to enter the pier, which has been a big change that I noticed. Nothing else had really changed since then. The time I spent in Weston would be a whole day, booking a hotel for a few weeks or even just on the weekend never happened with my family. Our time was saved because we didn't want to get bored of the place, we never have. The seaside is a good place to be relaxed as it's away from all the built up cities and most of the people, although the seaside itself is busy on the hot summer days. My memories at Weston are very vague, although I've been there a lot however there are a few memories that will always stick with me. I have a lot of memories from summer holidays also, where I spent a lot of time when I was younger and still do now. The seasides which differ from Weymouth and Weston like Poole, Seaton, Bournemouth and Torquay. These places have given me lots of memories. On the last few days of our holiday in Torquay, a supercar showcase was being hosted right at the side of the Riviera. I didn't expect it to be so fulfilling and entertaining. I took pictures of the cars, there are all different types of them, Lamborghinis, Subarus, Mercedes. I filmed some video of a few cars which are revving their engines and they picked up really well my camera's mic. The holiday, which was two weeks long, was full to the brim of things that I remember now and made me happy. The whole set of emotions from the holiday were very upbeat and there weren't many negatives that got in my way. I don't know what it was that made the whole holiday the way it was. 
I thought it was because we did a lot of moving around and had something to do always. Holidays have been a highlight of my great memories more than anything. We go to different places down south and I love the atmosphere. How on some days it's quiet and others are loud and joyful. Thank <laughs> you.